what are people also going this is Bharat here welcome back to another video on react js i'm just trying out a new camera angle and i hope you guys like this camera angle the particular reason for making this video is to continue on on what we learned in the previous video we learned about the http get request through the fetch method in the react js we're going to continue on with that and learning about the post request how do you post the request to the api in the server and how do you get and fetch data and do all of the cool stuff with your http post so we're going to be talking about that and hopefully also learn about how we how we can actually place a simple login procedure and uh, what is going to be the response of the server and how are you going to handle all of that that's going to be the main reason for making this video if you like this video you know what to smash the like and subscribe button as well so that we can get stay tuned with all the latest content on react.js and all the programming languages so let me get thing, this thing started with a basic uh, clown component that i'm going to create i'm going to create a simple component i'm going to call it the uh, a home page as usual i i didn't want to uh, extend or use the previous one instead i'll just do everything from scratch so that you guys can understand how everything is going to work so if created a simple class level component you can use use your hooks or your functional component in this if you want to but i'm just going to stick with the class level component so once you have a class level component in place what the first thing that you have to do is to create a simple props here it use the props and the constructor super of props and once this thing is done we are ready to learn about the next important function. All right, so the constructor is created, and we also have to have a simple render here, right? So, a render, and in the render method, we're going to do a simple return, and the return will be handling all our super crazy stuff here. Let me create a simple div here so that it's uh, very helpful. And div will have a simple p tag, and the p tag is going to say the request return and we just going to put something here we'll come back to this and so what is going to come there is going to be a simple state level variable so i'm just going to create a simple state level variable if you guys are unaware of what i'm doing so fast you guys should take a look at the previous videos that i made on all things basic with respect to react so that is this thing is very easy for you so create a simple state level variable i'm going to do two things here i'm going to say is authenticated as one month so this authenticated is when you send out a post request and the response is coming back for that Technically, in this one, you're going to do a fake server and we have to, going to have a fake server just like we did in the previous video and try to access a simple REST API, which is going to be a simple username password, which is predefined. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing that. So let's uh, assign a value to this. Let's initially be let it be false because it's not going to be authenticated. So it's authenticated is the one and the next is the data itself. So let me put it as a token or the token is the response that's going to come or let me put it as um, response body or response rest data or something else so rest is going to be null initially right and i'll just put this all right so this is one uh, so we're going to be printing the rest data only here so make that also done so technically we have created the skeleton for this now the next part is going to be about the talking about the one method that we saw in the previous video itself is going to be component did mount so all the component did mount is going to do is even before the component is going to be created this is going to be fired which is what we want so the component did mount will be doing two things for us first thing is going to be the fetch and we're going to be calling or calling the api for the fetch so what is the fetch api that we have to call so you can go here i already have tried it also let's go into the previous week or previous one or uh, website that i showed you guys in the previous video itself it's going to be recrest.in website and we have a lot of things to play with you can do a create update a delete and all of this super fun stuff click on the login and we have the simple uh, response the request to give and this is going to be the data response that is going to come back so it clearly says that when you click on the login successful which is just a simple fake server so if you give this email and password you're going to get this token back this is what we're going to try to attempt so just take this url and uh, just put the fetch here and uh, append it with the slash api slash login so api slash login this is going to be the uh, request or the is this going to be the api that we're going to hit but uh, we're going to use the post request for this so how are we going to have a post request all you have to do is in the previous video we did not put a uh, we didn't add uh, our headers to this part we directly try to access the api directly when you do that it's going to be calling the get request the get request is going to be very simple nothing is going to be encrypted or anything of that sort it's going to directly do a get request but if you want to do a post request make sure that you have added this simple three lines of code along with the link that you've posted as well so what we're going to add is very simple so we're going to have two things now the first thing is the method itself the method is going to be the post method right so just put a post method here 
and the next is going to be the headers headers are very very important the two things that you have to add one is the accept header which is uh, how this api will work we're going to say the acceptance is going to be through json application sorry application creation json it could be either application in the form of json and there's one more important which is the content type so what content type are we sending in this request it's going to be another application slash json so we have added two things here so i hope you guys can see i'll just move this to the top right here so i hope you can, you can see the accept and the application slash json that we have just done the next important one is going to be to the send the data the data that you have to send is very simple you have to send the username and password for this so i'm just going to create a simple constant variable i'm just going to hold it in a variable let me call it the payload the payload is going to be very simple again it's going to be email and the email is going to hold two things it's going to be the eve hot request and it's going to be this part here and the password again just like it's shown here is going to be this password the next thing we are going to do is actually add the data tag for this so we had a method headers and the final is going to be the data the third attribute is going to be the body attribute just make sure that you add the body attribute and do this one thing here because you're going to do a we are actually promising the http request that we're going to send it to in the form of json make sure you do json.stringify method here and this is the usual one that will actually work for everything because we have added it in the payload make sure that payload is done so we have added what three things you have added the request we have done the headers we have given the body as well to this so the next thing is going to be the important one so the important one is we have to make sure that you are getting a response back on the server and you have to handle it pass it properly right so just do a simple then and we're going to say that the response that is going to come make sure that is in the form of json so we are just converting it in the form of json and the next then okay now the once the then is coming back or you have passed it in the form of json make sure you do another then here and this time we're going to handle the data here so the handle handling the data is very simple if i'm using a very short short hand of uh, creating functions uh, you hope you guys would know what the short short hands are going to do so we just do a uh, So what we can do now here is inside this part, we can do a lot of things. We can do a console.log and we can handle the scenarios here. So just do a data here and we will see what is the response that's gonna come back. I have already have my um, terminal running. I just do it's running actually. So we'll just go here and we will open my HTTP localhost. 3000 is opening up. So the request return is not showing anything because you have not actually had this part. Now, if you put the console and I try, it's retaining object and the object is holding the token which is great because that's the same token we saw when we are trying to access this api so this is just a fake data so this is how usually it will work if you have a server in place as well so make sure that this part is clearly understood now once the data is done it's just as simple of as simple as handling these state variables so what we're going to do is just do uh, this dot do a set state here and make sure that you add the data for the response data so the response data for me is going to be the uh, data dot uh, token so the token is going to be a response state you just first console print that and then do a set state now another important thing to consider is how are we going to handle the uh, response for that like the error part, error part for that error part can be handled in a similar fashion all you have to do is just do a comma here and do an error and error handling is as simple as that again so when error appears make sure that you set the is authenticated to false let's keep it as false and uh, we just console that log uh, error as well so just say console.log uh, error uh, and that is it so this is going to be we'll make sure that uh, this dot set state is authenticated remains as false response data is going to be oh crap we keep doing this again and again 
and the response data is going to continue to be uh, I'll just put a simple response data saying that no data from server. So then this and you have to also add if I've gotten the uh, authenticated here. So this authenticated should be now true for this. Awesome. So we're just going to now change this part here. We already have a return to. So we just put an if block here and say that this dot state dot is authenticated. Then show this to the user. So this else show the user this one. Say that uh, tell the user that no data was returned. The error occurred. This is enough for us now. So we save this up and we go back to our page here. So data is returned and we've got the token as well back in the user. So this is the same token that we found out here. So this is the same token we found out in this part here. That exactly we saw the same thing happen as part of this one. And that is the problem. So yes, so same token here. And that is what is returned as part of this request that we did to the post protocol. So I hope this video is informative. Again, if you like this video, you know what, just smash that like button. And if you find this content that I'm posting on the channel useful, do not forget to subscribe as well. Let me meet you in the next video. Also, do not forget to comment on this new camera angle. If you like this, I'll continue to make this camera angle. Hopefully, this is going to be interesting for you guys to follow. Let me know in the next video. Until then, Bharat, peace out. Make something happen.